So 7B85 um, died on me <laughs> in the middle with the battery. So I'm going to have a part 1, part 2. See? Part 1, part 2. So this one will be part 1. Um, part 1. Actually, sorry, the last video was part one. This will be part two. So I got it down there. Okay. Um, so we were t in the middle of the formula here. So let's go back to these diagrams. Um, let's see. This is an LED light. That's the structure of it. The inner workings of it, showing the circuit band. And then down here we have the breakdown, reverse, and forward. Then we have VD, and VVR, and V, and plus and minus there. So the IV diagram for a diode. An LED will begin to emit light when the on voltage is exceeded. Typical on voltages are 2 to 3 volts. My thoughts. Adding the Higgs signal here not only helps with communications between the nodes, it generates proton energies within the UFO core engine. So we were looking at this diagram and talking about it in the last video. Idealized example of light emission cone in a semiconductor for a single point source emission code. The left illustration, which is this one, is for a fully translucent wafer, while the right illustration shows the half cone swarm with the bottom layer is fully opaque. The light is actually emitted equally in all directions from the point source so that the areas between the cones show the large amount of trapped light energy that is wasted as heat. My thoughts, the two smaller cones going north to south, this one and this one here, are the monopoles, and then the four going this way are the quadrupoles, magnets. Um, the four facing east and west are quadrupole, quadrupole magnets in the core UFO engine structure. Then in this diagram, quote from Wiki, the light emission cones of a real LED wafer are so far more complex than a single point source light emission. The light emission zone is typically a two-dimensional plane between the wafers. Every atom across this plane has an individual set of emission cones. See this? Okay. Um, drawing the billions of overlapping cones is impossible, so this is a simplified diagram showing the extent of all the emission cones combined. The larger side cones are clipped to show the interior features. The reduced image complexity, they would extend to the opposite edges of two-dimensional emission plane. My thoughts. The atoms cross the LED planes from each set of emission cones are magnetic forces. All emissions show the diffractions of the crystal's effects on visible light within the UFO core engine of the spaceship. Much like the crystal skull Mitchell hedges, it diffracts signals from smaller crystal particles, generating an energy that goes up and out of the eye sockets. In this case, this energy produced would be a proton energy from the Higgs electron field. It would power the spaceship, activate the recyclable fuel structures and generate high speeds over 5G and 4. She will have a three-dimensional emission plane with this structure, says so Arrow. Use the visible lights. Um, continues in the next word video. Thanks for watching.